Hey everybody and welcome back to The Mandalorian Season 3. Where did we leave it last time on The Mandalorian? Well, we left it in the Book of Boba Fett. That's the last time we saw The, the Mandalorian and Grogu. And as far as I remember, we were just, we are taking off on adventures. We're probably, we probably have some mission that I've forgotten about. But we're in a, a ship, Grogu's got his little spot. We've got our, we've got our spot. It's not our old ship. It's a new, sleeker design one. I don't know where we're going. I don't know what we're doing. I don't know what the season's about. Maybe more lore. I can't quite remember. I know that Grogu went off to do some training. And then we, we grabbed him, I think, to go help Boba Fett. It's been a while. But... I'd, I'd, I'd be happy just to watch Mando and Grogu on random adventures, like season one. But I have a feeling this is going to be an arc, this season three. The Disney Star Wars shows have been sort of kind of uneven quality-wise, but The Mandalorian has always been pretty solid. So I'm expecting this to be a good season. Let's get into episode one. I don't know what the title is. We'll find out straight away, no doubt. Maybe I should have watched it previously on The Mandalorian before turning on my camera. You got a good point. You got a good point. Never talk to me again. <laughs> Manufacturer's protocol dictates I cannot be captured. Ah, season one. Must be destroyed. This guy was great. He was on the river of sticks, remember? There is only one way, the way of the Mandalore. Yeah, Starbuck. Have you ever removed your helmet? I have. It's Joel. How can I atone? In the living waters beneath the mines of Mandalore. But the mines have all been destroyed. This is the way. It's not very helpful. I guess that's her mission? To atone in the mines of Moria? That's not what she called them. Iron Man. This is just all references so far. What are we doing? What are we making? Ah, oh, fancy. Very fancy. It's got colors. Are we giving someone new? Is this a flashback? Is this when Mando became a... A Mando? This is the way. Never take it off. Not even when you're showering. That I shall walk the way of the Mandalore. And the words of the creed shall be forever forged in my heart. You're too young to take that oath, kid. Oh, you're gonna your head's gonna be growing though, right? You're gonna need a bigger helmet. This is the way. You gotta change it every year, you know? As your head gets bigger. Shall never Are we being attacked? Oh I'm freaking holy moly, Jesus Christ! A freaking crocodile! The size of a mountain. See you later, alligator. Stop trying to eat us. Get out of here. Blow it up. Oh, you just pissed it off. Oh, blast it. It wasn't a flashback. <laughs> I was convinced it was a flashback. That's funny. I thought that was little Mando. I can't remember what the kid looked like in the flashbacks. You have removed your helmet. Yep. A few times. What's worse? I'll do it now. You are no longer Mandalorian. Hmm. But what if the mines of Mandalore still exist? Don't eat it now, Grogu. Don't eat it. It's a crystal. It's pointy. If I visit the planet and I can bring you proof that I have bathed in the living waters, the decree of exile will be lifted and I would be redeemed. Yeah. Agreed? This is the way. Nice. See you later. You don't owe anything to these people, Mando. But let's do it anyway. Let's bathe in the radiation pools of see you again. your home planet. Grogu, you can stay in the ship. 
good view from here, though, isn't it? Do you see anything? What the hell is this thing? FTL squid? That's a living thing in this, this stream. Oh, they're everywhere. Hey, Mando, you seeing this? You sleep, buddy? Oh, you can get from one compartment to the other. Cool. Oh, I kind of kind of want to play a Star Wars game now, where I'm in control of this thing. Welcome to Navarro. We've been here before. This is where um yeah I remember this. This is where Apollo Creed is, right? Oh, cool. I like. I don't know. I like everything. Oh, a bat, a monkey bat, a flying monkey. A lot has changed around here. It's very modern, isn't it? Gentrification, you know? Oh, the hero who, who blew himself up to save everybody. Or something. That guy, right? Do you remember your old friend? Robot dude. Mando! Oh, <laughs> is someone carrying his... <laughs> Magistrate Karga. Hi, Magistrate Karga. Hi, Magistrate. <laughs> Let's catch up on old times. A few more rounds in the ring, eh? Doesn't even look like the same place. It looks so much cleaner and nicer. And Richard, <laughs> Grog was just spinning in the chair. The Belters are mining the asteroid fields at the edge of the system. The Belters. I can set you up with a prime tract. You can settle down. You can hang up your blast. Maybe at the end of the season. The oh. It's complicated. I removed my helmet, and now I'm an apostate. Where you're from, you may be an apostate, but here you'd be landed gentry. There's someone here to see you. It can wait. But it's pirates. Pirates. Johnny Depp's out here. Grief, Karga, my old friend. This guy looks like something out of Babylon 5. Join me for a drink back at my office. We drink here. That is a school now. I say it's still a bar. Is there a problem here, Magistrate? Yeah, do you want to take care of it for me? You paid us for murder inside these doors. Yeah? That was then. This is now. Do not take your weapon out or you're gonna die. <laughs> Navarro is no longer friendly to pirates. Now get out of here. Yeah, get out of here, you stinking pirates. Oh, all your guys are gone now. Get out of here, Vane. Don't come back in any other episode with a bunch of pirates. I need a marshal. You ready to put on the stripes and collect a healthy stipend? Not you yet, dude. Very fine lawman. Not yet. I can't serve as your marshal. I have something pressing to attend to. He has to bathe in the pools. Apologies. I need him back. You need him back. These are his parts, are they not? They don't. I mean, what's left of There's them. no way you could. There's no way we could fix this guy. I need a droid I can trust to help me explore Mandalore. And he's that droid. This one in particular? Come on. Well, maybe his CPU has survived somehow. Don't you have better things to do than watch us fix a droid? Ooh. We brought you back from droid heaven, dude. We'll get you some legs. How's he gonna fit in the ship? Oh, I try to kill Grogu. Freaking Terminator! Crush it! Yeah, get crushed, dude. How about this one? We can take this one instead. Now that's using your head. Nice. They'll have IG back to his old self in no time. We're still gonna do it? Oh, hello, little guy. What do you want? How you doing? Don't eat him, Grogu. Why is everything in Star Wars gotta be so cute? Why? Explain it to me. Explain it to me. No can fix? Mando, he said he can't fix it. Yeah, I heard him. He says the memory circuit is shot. Yeah, we heard. Very hard to find. What if I find you the part? Okay, now, then no problem. No, Strangle him. Crush him. I freaking get you. No, Grogu. Keep IG-11 safe until I get back with that part. 
This is a weird storyline, isn't it, everybody? It's the only robot he can trust in the entire galaxy. Gotta fix him up. Bring him back from the dead. Because we need him. For some reason. Hang on, kid. We got pirates. Oh, the pirates are back. Are we going to fight in the asteroid belt? Pirate King Gorian Shards met. Now you'll answer to him. After him. Nice. Let that be a warning to the five of you who are left. Has <laughs> anyone got eyes on the Mandalorian? He's behind you, dude. Peekaboo. Mandalorian to you, Captain. Pirate ship? Holy moly. Get out of there. Hyperspeed now. Stop where you are, Mandalorian. Look at this guy. What a kind He's a swamp man. Surrender your ship and I'll spare your life. Nice. He's too fast. Can't get him, dude. This is Kalabala. It's another planet in the Mandalorian system, and that is a Mandalorian castle. Ooh, looks like Ireland. We've we've got these cool futuristic castles here, just off the coast. We're here for a part, dude. We're gonna take it any way we can. We'll take it from you. I don't trust your kind. I only trust one droid in the galaxy. So, you're not gonna say anything to me. Just gonna let me walk, okay? What kind of a stupid guard was that? Bo Katan. Oh, Bo Din Djarin. Hey. What of your plans to retake Mandalore? Where is everybody? Where is the stolen fleet? Making their way through the galaxy as mercenaries. Mercs. So you gave up your designs to retake Mandalore? Your cult gave up on Mandalore long before the purge. Was she just sitting here on her Where were you by herself? I am going to Mandalore so that I may bathe in the living waters. Yeah. The whole thing. The whole ritual thing. You are a fool. There's nothing magic about the mines of Mandalore. It's a tradition thing. If you want to go to the mines, they're beneath the Civic Center in the city of Sundari. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. And I will find out if the planet is really poisoned. Yeah, I'll let you know. If you want the dark saber, I can give it to you. Goodbye, Din Djarin. If you're just sitting here on a planet by herself, just do nothing. She has one droid outside do doing nothing. And the episode's over. I love these titles though. Oh yeah, the monster of the lake. He was the coolest bird. Oh yeah, and the Terminator. When he turned into a Terminator, that was great too. And these guys, these freaking cute little like little ETs, look at them. You got an ET face. Hey everybody, that was the first episode of the third season of The Mandalorian. And welcome back to the show. Grogu, still as cute as ever, spinning in that friggin' chair. Not eating the crystal or those little E.T. little fellas. Maybe you want to beat them up. Or something, or hug them, or adopt them as pets. I don't know what was going on. I love the way Apollo Creed was translating for them. You could understand them. They were saying words, couldn't you? And Katie, at the end, sitting on a throne. She's the only person on that planet, I'm convinced of it. Her and a droid. One woman and a droid. She has her throne. She just sits there every day. She hasn't had a visitor in months. She hunts for food. I assume there doesn't seem to be anybody else there. It was odd. Speaking of things that are odd, <laughs> let's talk about the things I liked. Um, the opening. I love the opening with a giant Foregan alligator crocodile in the size of a mountain interrupting that ceremony. I thought it was flashback. Genuinely. I don't know why. I just assumed the boy was, you know, Mando as a child. And he was interrupted just before making the I will not take off my helmet ever, Val. 
too young, too young. Kid's too young to be making a decision that'll define his entire existence for the rest of his life. You know, you gotta wait till that kid's at least 18 before you make him take the ultimate vow. That's what I think. But yeah, great battle. And then Grogu and Mandu to the rescue at the end. I feel like there's more color. This is sound, it sounds weird, doesn't it? More color this season. Maybe it's because I'm... I don't know. Boba, we've had Boba Fett and we've had Obi-Wan. And there's a lot of sand, maybe, in those shows. So... I don't know. I, I just feel like there's more... Maybe it's because we saw a colourful helmet. But then when they went back to Navarro or whatever, that place was super cleaned up. And super colourful and green and clean and everything just was vibrant. You know? And thriving. And that was the point of the whole place. But the show, it makes you feel better as well. When the, when the show looks better, you feel better about it. So I was... I was digging it. And then the pirates come in. We have a bit of a shootout. And then we have this weird story about... Look, the Terminator robot stuff was really cool, you know? But the fact that we have to take this one droid, the only droid that he trusts, it doesn't matter how wrecked it is or how much the memory is gone or anything. It's got to be this one in particular. But if, if we clean the memory slate, and it's just brand new, from scratch, you may as well just get a new one, right? What, the soul of the droid is going to come back? The soul of the person you trust? I can understand that maybe he needs a droid to help, I don't know, do things that we can't do ourselves. Check radiation levels, do so something like that. But that it has to be this specific one, it just seems like a stretch, you know? seems like a weird stretch. I love I loved seeing it as a statue. That was cool. But the whole... We're on a mission to get a part so that we can fix the robots and it just... Like, I can understand maybe dedicating one episode to fixing up the, the droid that you need. But doing it over multiple episodes feels like we're spinning wheels. Like there's not enough story to tell. So we're just stretching it out a bit. And that's worrying in the first episode. I could be wrong, you know? And the scene at the end seems a bit weird as well. Just checking in on her. Hey, how's it going? Do you know anything about the mines? Oh, you do? Thanks. Now we know where to go. We didn't need her to tell us. Like, in universe, we needed her to... Mando didn't know where to go. But if she wasn't in the episode, he would have known where to go. He'd be like, oh, it's just under the civic something in that place. But she was just in it to, to remind us that she still exists and she still has a mission, but she's sort of given up on it and the people she was with have kind of disbanded and they're mercenaries now. We also set up this pirate in a huge pirate ship that looked like a swamp monster that's going to be... that was in the episode for no reason other than the fact that he's going to be in it later in the season. So we set up a few things. Uh, we've sort of introduced people that are going to be important later on. But um, I, I like looking at the show and experiencing the show, but I, I feel like I'm wondering where the story goes. I don't give one crap about Mando going to a pool and washing himself of his sins and going back and winning his honor back, I don't care about that one bit. I don't care whether all of Mandalorian culture lives or dies, to be honest with you. I just care about cool adventures. And, uh, you know, high stakes stuff. Maybe. Maybe? I don't know. Getting into scrapes and scuffles. But, um, We'll see where it goes. We'll see where it goes. So, um... I can't judge this episode until we've seen the rest. Um, until we've seen two or three. And then we can put this in context. For the greater story. It seems like a very arky story. Very arky episode. 
are setting up things. And whilst looking really, really pretty, and the effects on that monster in the lake were unbelievable, the size and the scope of it, just great. And we had we had some asteroid battles too. And when we were in hyperdrive speed space, we saw traveling hyperspeed whales or squids or something. Did you know? Did you know things like that existed? Was Grogo hallucinating them? I don't know. I have no idea. Anyway, thank you for joining me for episode one. I know I'm going to have a lot of fun with the show. But uh, I'm curious about where the story goes. So come back for episode two and we will see where the story goes. What our next step is. We can't go straight there, right? I think or I think I may be mistaken. I maybe have misinterpreted everything. We're going to... The droid is on ice. We're going to get something to make the droid go. A memory chip. Rare one. And then we're going to get the droid and then we're going to go back to Mandalore. We're going to find the entrance to the mines. We're going to do some stuff. Mando's going to... Don't take off your helmet. Just take a bath in the, the pools. Take a selfie. Go back to the, the lady. And she'll be like, This is the way you're back. And then... Take on the Pirate King. And then... Give Katie Sakoff the... The Dark's... Sword of Doom. And she can take over Castle Grayskull. Is the way I see it. The twists and turns. I do suspect that Navarro or whatever that place is called will get attacked at some point, maybe because it's too everything's too clean and prosperous. Maybe it needs to be shaken up a bit again, but I don't want it to be because it looks cool. You know, market improvement on when we saw it in season one or two or both. All right, get out of here. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time.